Hi there, once again, a short video on what I was training out in the park the, um, uh, the other day. So I took a photo of this from above, which I will add to my post. So what I've got here is I set up a box of hoops. One, two, three, four. I put two hoops here so that I could uh, work on doing some slalom actions. And then I put two barrels up there um, to work on my redirection. So, what did I do? What did I do? One of the first things I did is a warm up, really, a warm up. Um, so, Warming your dog up before you start asking them to do more intricate stuff is important. You can do things like playing with your dog, uh, walking them up and down, loosen up, the, loosen up their legs, try a few redirections, walk a few circles. Um, so my part of my warm-up was really just to get my dog to go all the way round the outside. Okay, so just normal corner turns, nothing difficult. Um, I then also did a practice of getting my dog to go up to that barrel, doing a wrap and coming back again so that they could work on uh, running past a hoop. So what else did I do? Here was my first workout because I wanted to work on my directionals and this is something else that I also do I don't try and do multi-purpose training I will pick on an exercise or an issue and maybe do something in that respect so if you're training your dog to do something quite, you know, using a piece of new equipment, for example, whatever, no point in just putting it in a course and letting the dog, oh, run over it a couple of times and then I'll do the course. Uh, my perspective is I would introduce the obstacle um, and then I would try and put up a circuit whereby the dog could get a rhythm and repeat using that obstacle at the same time but coming from different directions. And that's one of the things that you should, you're looking at with hoopers, is you might be able to do it in one position and one direction, but then you've got to try and get your dog to do the same obstacle, the same sequence, but maybe approaching it from a different um, direction. So this is what I did to start with. We went straight through the box, and I asked my dog to go around the barrel, Line them up, straight through the box, and then finish with a turn to the hoop. And so I did that going round to the dog's left. And I also worked it doing the dog going round to the dog's right. I then had to work out, because I had to stand in different positions for each of my dogs, to get maximum so a maximum workout, um, I found that I could work quite easily. Uh, Wiki, the older dog, um, literally standing where I was here in position, bang bang bang. I could turn him away there. Moochie, however, he found it very difficult to come round this corner and line and straighten yourself up for this one. Now, I will say this sort of like only five to six meters apart. So when you've got a really quick dog, whew, they've got to, you know, they've got to have some good balance and that might have come into effect. So what Moochie was doing was coming around here. No, no brakes used at all. Okay, so he's got no brakes. And instead of, coming across in front of me, he kept diving off behind me. And I think that was a mixture of my lack of timing, uh, being able to get him to do this 
this bit and cue him early enough um, and his speed. And also we haven't practiced this a little while. So these are things to look out for when you're training, you're certainly out training. So we did that. Next thing we did was I did what they might call the stairs or the steps. And I, again, went there, turned my dog to this one, sent him away. This is a very slight left turn to that one, around the barrel, and then straight on, and then do a half slalom back to the centre. And then we went round. So as you can see, I'm building up my sequences. And up there, around, and across to finish. So I am now doing a longer sequence now my dog has warmed up. So as I say, I did it from this direction. So, so long as you've got perhaps a, a line for the dog to see, you might want to slightly turn your dog, okay, so that they can see through these hoops. But just remember that that then could make them actually go past. You need to use your influence to perhaps step back so that you can draw the dog in and then across, not forward, but across. This is your hooper levels away, meaning sort of like turn slightly away to go on but as you can see you want the line to keep going that way you see um, you don't want to ask your dog to suddenly turn off and peel off in the opposite direction you want your dog to keep on a nice smooth line this is why I sent my dog forward like that instead of asking it to turn around here and then we did the turn so this turning to the right that was my sla, 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 then on. Now I could go left. Now for Moochie, this is in. I had to turn him into me. I'm making sure that I'm standing on a corner now. I put him across in front and to the corner. Okay. So again, I did it going that way. And then I set up my hoops. And I did it so that my dog was turning diagonally across. So don't just set your hoops up in a straight line. Teach your dog to go through ladders. Teach your dog to work through boxes. And teach your dog to go past obstacles. Just with a few obstacles set out. Let's see how well you get on. Send us your videos.